Getting a few things uh, together on the uh, BRS. Didn't have a depth stop, so made this little outfit. That's going to be very handy. Uh, another thing is is uh, having a precision vise uh, won this at auction. A precision grinder's vise. This thing is uh, wicked. Um, very nice high precision didn't have a drill chuck so I made this to run a sleeve but um, was able to buy a call it in England and found a beautiful Jacobs chuck brand next up will be to make hold down clamps um, for the vise and I'll take this rotary table attachment off and I should be good to go for a bit Just making something to set up the grinding vise so that it's perfectly 90. Uh, setup is everything. So you can see I keyed. I keyed this. That's that's gonna key there and make a 90 block. So when I bolt shit down, uh, it will be perfectly 90. Now I was trying to figure out a way to hold this uh, grinder's vise and so I just turned this out of, I don't know what it is, I bought it for $1.75. But look at, look at the surface that this grinder does. Now how this works is uh, it will simply pop in to any of those holes. Of course we'll line it up with the T-nuts and uh, that'll be clamped. Okay, so there we are. Nicely milled. Uh, hopefully uh, this will be perfectly 90. I've miked that to be perfect with that. Okay, so here's the piece. Uh, it's keyed. Pops in there. Look at that. It's gonna hold my my grinder 90 you can see I didn't have it there but so what I think is great about this system is you see I can bolt that vise anywhere I want on the rotary table I will of course index it so so now if I take this off I want to make sure I can stick it back on the table at least close close so I can dial indicate it so now I'm going to use the rotary table to set that up. This is right on the edge of the rotary table, so it's going to set it up perfectly. Okay, this is the cleaning pass. So I just left just a whisker uh, of thickness on the table. I'll cut that with a knife. Okay, so I cut that away. That is just scored. And so that leaves a very crisp. I put a little knife mark to where it stops. On the so as you can see on the keyway, there is a razor blade mark and I'll grind that and that tells me where that is to within a thou. I'll still dial if I need closer. Now let me tell you something, you see they harden a piece of steel, but it's only hardened on the surface so you're only going to see the spark at the beginning and the end. See that? And to think that was an R8, goodness me. Look at the blue of that stuff. Cut you like a knife. Anyway, I think I'm down through. I picked up some uh, M30 tooling tapers and obviously they're not gonna fit the, the BCA uh, milling machine. 
but this is hardened. Uh, and uh, first time I've ever worked with hardened metal. And uh, geez, it did pretty good. I got her down to within three tenths of a thou. So, uh, I mean, that used to look just like that. Uh, great to have a little fly cutter here with insert tooling, which was garbage otherwise. And so that fits in. To my cutter. What do you think? Pretty amazing.